Hi everybody, this is Lara with your weekly analysis of US oil for the trading week ending Friday 14th of January 2022 and I'm recording this video half past three in the afternoon before New York closes so that I can get everything done today before the, the evening ends. Again, a bounce could be complete. Price is continuing higher. We have two wave counts. The main wave count still expects a downward trend and that this bounce is a very deep second wave correction. Second waves can be very deep. I have to hold on to the main wave count until price tells us it's wrong. However, this week at the daily chart level, there is some technical support for the alternate, which expects the bull market for oil to continue. The next midterm target for the downward movement for the main count is 47.05. The main wave count still considers a bear market to last about a year may have begun and target, a target for support for it to eventually end is 38.95 but it could be deeper. If we see a new high by any amount at any time frame above 85.41, the main wave count will be invalidated and at that point the alternate will become the main wave count and it expects that the larger upward trend remains intact and the target would be at 95.38. Elliott wave analysis first, classic analysis last. This wave count expects that oil found a major low back down here and that a bull market is going to continue and will be labelled a super cycle degree third wave which has to move above the end of one and has to move far enough above one to allow the for four to unfold and remain above wave one price territory. So I don't have a target for super cycle three. Suffice to say it's pretty high. When I have one, two, three and four within it, I'll use Fibonacci ratios at cycle degree to calculate the target for the fifth wave to end super cycle three. From this high, low sorry, to this high, this fits beautifully as a complete Elliott Wave impulse. It's labelled primary 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if that's correct then it should be followed by a three step back pattern to be labelled wave 2 at cycle degree which may not move beyond the start of 1 below 10.24. Let's take a look at cycle 1 at the weekly chart level with this low here is this point down here. It's labelled at primary degree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Primary 3 is extended, primary 5 is short, primary 1 is short. Within the extended third wave we can see its subdivisions at a higher time frame and the third wave of the third wave overshoots the channel in the direction of the trend. This is a really typical look and tells us that this channel is probably correctly drawn. It's drawn using Elliott's first technique from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2. A little overshoot for four, five fell a little bit short of resistance of the channel. The channel was breached indicating that this wave should be over and the next wave should be underway. Following a five up we'd expect a three back and this would be too brief and shallow for the completion of that three. And so this is only part of the three step back pattern which is labelled cycle wave two. It would most likely subdivide as a zigzag a, B, C, which means A would most likely subdivide as a five wave structure. One, two, three, four, five. This bounce is expected to be a second wave correction and they can be very deep. Cycle wave two may not move beyond the start of one below 10.24. And intermediate two may not move beyond the start of intermediate one above 85.41. Let's take a look at the daily chart where this high here, the end of cycle wave one is this point here. From this high to this low, this movement fits really nicely as a five wave impulse. The subdivisions all fit nicely and it has a typical curved look, typical of commodities. And we have a strong third wave in the middle. This looks like a five wave structure down, which is labelled intermediate one, maybe over here, and is now being followed by a three wave structure upward, a bounce for intermediate two. Second waves most commonly correct to the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio, but they can be deeper than that, especially the first second wave in the start of a new trend. Here's an example, minor wave two within intermediate wave one was very deep indeed. It looks like intermediate two may be following a similar pattern and it may not move beyond the end of sorry, start of one above 85.41. I had expected the lower edge of the channel copied over from the weekly chart to provide resistance. It did initially and now it's broken through and prices back within the channel. Sometimes that happens. These channels don't always work perfectly. There's nothing in technical analysis that always works perfectly. If there was, we'd all be multi-billionaires because then it'll always work and so we could always bet on it. Sadly, that's just not the case. 
intermediate two is labelled as a zigzag and overall so far it does still have a three wave look. This could morph into a five, we'll look at that when we get to the weekly chart. A, B, C, C is extended, minute one, two, extended, minute three, four, five. If this wave count is over, we should start to see downward movement Monday, Tuesday. We sh price should start to tell us pretty quickly if this is the correct wave count. If we see a new high by any amount at any time frame above 85.41, this will be the main wave count. I've moved the degree of labelling within primary 5 down one degree. What if primary 5 is extending within an impulse? Only one or two of 1, 3 and 5 may, be, may extend. In this example, 1 is not extended, 3 is extended. It's possible 5 could also extend. This wave count in Elliott wave terms doesn't have as good a look as the main wave count though. The little overshoot of the lower edge of the channel looks a little bit odd for this wave count and the depth and duration of intermediate 2 within primary 5, compare that to these corrections within primary 3, it looks out of proportion so that pr reduces the probability of this wave count but low probability doesn't mean no probability. The nature of probability means that when a lower probability outcome occurs, as it will necessarily do from time to time, it's never going to be what you expected as most likely. Alternates give us a structure for those possibilities and a roadmap forward when the main wave count is invalidated, which will happen from time to time because I'm never going to be able to be 100% right all the time. If, if primary 5 is extending, then within it intermediate 1 and 2 should be complete and intermediate 3 must move beyond the end of 1, then intermediate 4 must unfold, remain above wave 1 price territory and intermediate 5 to continue on up to the target for primary 5 to reach equality length with primary 1 at 95.38. When we have all of 1, 2, 3 and 4 at intermediate degree complete within primary 5. I can add to the target calculation at a second degree. At that stage it may widen to a zone or it may change. Intermediate 2 may not move beyond the start of 1 below 61.74. Classic analysis now. At the weekly chart level this chart mostly remains overall neutral. There is a little bit of support from volume for the last completed candle, weekly candlestick. This current week is incomplete. This doesn't have Friday's data because I've prepared the chart a little early. If this shows an increase beyond last week's completed candlestick though, then we would have more confidence at that if that would be in the alternate, sorry, that would be one thing that would switch me to being a little bit more confident in the alternate wave count and suspecting that it's possibly going to be proven correct Monday or Tuesday. So I'll update in the comments below the post on the website the weekly technical analysis chart when we have final data and I'll make a comment there for you. At this stage we, over, we have a little bit of an increase in volume here but this volume is still lighter than this volume from this week here so you could read that as a slight decline and this upward volume so far is weaker than this downward volume. The short term volume profile looks bullish but the mid term volume profile could still be considered bearish. Look out for resistance about 84.5. No range from on balance volume, RSI still neutral, ADX at this time frame indicating no clear trend, stochastics neutral, ATR flattening off as price rises is normal behaviour. But now at the daily chart level ADX is indicating an upward trend. RSI isn't overbought, ADX isn't extreme, there's plenty of room to go for this upward trend to continue. Look out for resistance at 85 and 80, 84.5. No bearish candlestick pattern at the end of the week. Volume for upward movement slightly declining, not really by much. I'd read this overall as probably neutral for the short term. On balance volume has no range. We've been over ADX, RSI, stochastics also overbought. But in a trending market we don't use stochastics, we use RSI. And ATR now declining as price rises. So this chart is leaning slightly bullish. That signal from ADX though is not the strongest signal it could give. But for the alternate wave counter, if we're expecting a primary degree fifth wave up, this may have about the right look. It would be a stronger signal if the black ADX line was coming from below 
both DX lines, but it's not. It's coming from the middle of the DX lines. Still, it is indicating an upward trend, and that does support the alternate Elliott wave count. We need to see that main wave count invalidated though, and then we have, we'll have some clarity, and then we'll have to switch to the alternate. Until before that's happened, because second waves can be so very, very deep, I'll have to hold on to that main wave count until price tells us it's wrong. Thank you so much for all your support and I hope all, your, all our members are having a fantastic weekend.